Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I'm back. It's been ages, it's been weeks and weeks and weeks. Um, I don't think I've ever had this long away from my channel. Um, it wasn't really intentional. I was on holiday, um, I visited Amsterdam, which was nice. Um, had a break there, just been really, really busy. Just been away doing lots of different things. Now it's the school holidays, so I'm busy with that. Um, but I was like, do you know what, I really need to get on and do a video. So I've got loads of videos planned. Um, it's just been manic trying to fit them in. So today I'm like, do you know what, I'm gonna do a really quick review of something that I tried, um, that I've been using recently. And today I'm gonna talk about the Garnier Express Retouch. Now, I hadn't even heard of this. I hadn't seen it advertised anywhere or anything like that. I was actually shopping um, and I have a link. So if you want to shop for it online, then uh, click the link below. Um, but yeah, I was just in the supermarket and I saw this um, and I hadn't seen it before. And I have lots of gray hair, which I've mentioned before. I actually started going gray when I was 11, about 10, 10 or 11. I was at primary school, and if you are in America, you don't call it primary school, it's like the up until 11 years old, whatever that's called in America or other countries, I don't know. Um, but it's the last year, it's year six, so I don't, is that sixth grade, I think, um, for America? Anyway, so I was in year six and I started to get grey hairs. Um, and then by the time I was like 15, I had a full on grey streak, like that wide, a full on grey streak here, and I used to hide it by putting the hair across so no one could see and then one day someone saw it and they were like oh cool you've got silver bits in your hair and everyone thought it was really cool um like I dyed it or something and I was just like no it's just grey hair um and then from then on I just had the hair out I was like proud to have my streak and I'd have my hair but up so it would be back so I'd have this grey streak going all the way back but it did look silver actually but it was grey now um, I'm 33, so I still have the streak. It's got a bit wider, um, but now I kind of get, you know, grey hairs everywhere. Um, not all over, but just kind of dotted around. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't mind if it was just the streak, but now I've got like the odd ones peeking through. I don't like that. So I've tried dyeing my hair um, with like the home dye kits that you can get, but I found that quite annoying because after like, a week or two I've got roots again and I've got to re-dye it um, and I don't like dyeing my hair too much I don't like putting too many chemicals and things on my hair as you can see I'm keeping it curly now this is the new me what do we think um so yeah so then I tried those sprays and I did do a, a review on the L'Oreal Magic Retouch Spray I think it's called I did two reviews the first one I raved about it said it was amazing the second one I was like avoid it because it's terrible because I wore it on holiday where it was really hot and I was sweating and I was kind of like doing this because it was hot and then I realized it was like going all over my hands it was dripping onto my forehead and I hated it so I was like I'm never using that again um, and then up until recently I've been using other brands but to be honest they're just the same I find personally on my hair and I've seen I've seen completely split reviews about these sprays some people love the sprays and say they're amazing and some people hate them I personally think it's all down to what hair type you have um, but for me personally, if I touched my hair where I, where I had sprayed it, it would transfer onto my fingers, like guaranteed every time. Now, bearing in mind how dark my hair is, imagine how dark that spray would be. Maybe if you've got blonde hair and you've sprayed it and you've touched it, it's not that big of a deal. But when you've got almost jet black hair and you've got this spray and you kind of go like this and you forget or you scratch your head and then you've got black all the way down your hands, it's not nice. Um, Another thing I don't like about the sprays is when you're spraying it on, you kind of get over spray. Um, this is what I found anyway. It's really hard to spray accurately, especially around the hairline. So if you've got grey hair here, mine's on the other side, it's like under here. If you've got grey hair there, when you spray, you're guaranteed going to get some like little specks going onto your skin. And loads of times I would forget to spray my hair. I'd do my makeup and then I think, oh, I haven't sprayed my hair and I was just about to go out and my grey hair's hanging out. So I quickly spray it and then I'd get like black splatters all over my face. So it was just a nightmare. So I was like, I'm just not gonna bother anymore. Then I've tried the little powders that you can kind of, you know, dab into the hair, which is fine. But again, if you touch it, it's gonna come off. Anyway, I was in the supermarket 
and I saw this and I was like, oh, I have not seen this before. So this is the Garnier Express Retouch. Literally all it is in the box as well, it's just a box the same kind of size and shape, it's just a rectangular bread box, it looks exactly the same as this. But this is what it looks like. You take this out of here. In the bottom section, there is dye, but you can't see it. It's kind of like closed off, but there's some little holes at the bottom. And then this is the sponge applicator. And then you kind of go like this, and you can like shake it around. Um, and then it's got the product on it, as you can see. And you literally just dab it into your hair. Now, the first time I used this, and I've seen some really bad reviews, um, and I'm guessing they did what I did the first time. Excuse me. So when it's on your hairline, what I did was I literally just kind of like dabbed right on like that. And it's like, if you've ever played bingo, I love bingo, the bingo dabbers, it's like that. And you literally end up with, it's got hair on it, yuck. Anyway, you literally end up with like dab marks on your scalp and you can see it and it's like, oh my God, that looks terrible. So I've seen some reviews like, oh, it looks awful. You can see like the dab marks on my head. It looks terrible. But the next time I used it, instead of like doing full on like dabs onto my scalp, I literally just like brushed it like really gently onto the hairs and now I don't have any issues. So if you do look this up and you do see um, negative reviews and they say about the kind of the dabbing and you can kind of see it in the hairline, that's what they're talking about. But they would have just gone in and kind of dabbed straight down, which is what I did the first time. Like I said, now I literally kind of just, I just kind of go like that and I just brush it through and it's perfect, so I don't have anything negative to say. Also on the box, it did say, this is the reason I bought it, because I thought it's just gonna be exactly the same as the sprays, it's gonna come off, and it said it does not transfer. So I was like, yes. This 100% does not transfer. Thank heavens above, I found something when it dries, I can touch it, I've got it all under here, I can touch it, and there's nothing on my fingers. It's amazing, it's absolutely amazing. One thing I will say is, obviously depending on how much you put on, um, depending on how much you put on, you might be able to kind of feel it, like, because it dries to the hair differently to the spray. Like, the spray doesn't necessarily dry down, I don't think, whereas this dries to the hair, so you can kind of feel it. Like, it almost feels a little bit crispy, that sounds gross but I don't mind it. It just feels like I've got product or something on and it doesn't affect me at all. Um, yeah, it doesn't affect me, I don't mind that. I'd rather that and it doesn't transfer than it feeling soft and amazing, but as soon as I touch my head, it comes off everywhere. So that doesn't bother me either, um, but they could be negative points to other people. I've also seen reviews from people that bought the blonde one saying that it looks ginger and it doesn't match the hair. Again, I haven't had issues with that because I didn't buy the blonde one. This is the darkest one they did. Um, I think it's, yeah, it's dark brown, but it looks black, basically. I feel like if you had black hair, you can still get away with it. Um, my hair isn't black. It probably looks out on camera. It's actually not black, um, but it is obviously dark brown. So, um, yeah, that's all I have to say about it. I paid £8, um, but I will put in the description how much it is online. Um, I forgot to double check but I will put the link in so you can just order online so much easier than trying to find it because like I said, I hadn't even seen this before, but I just wanted to come on really quickly and talk about it because I do recommend it. No one wants to continuously be dyeing their hair every two minutes, it's so annoying. Um, and especially if, like for me personally, I don't have that many greys, like if you've, your whole head is grey, then fair enough, you dye your hair and you like regularly dye your hair. But if you've got the odd strand of grey, it's a lot of effort to keep dyeing your hair just for a few strands. It doesn't really make sense, so this is perfect. But again, if you do have a full head of uh, grey hairs and you dye your hair, as soon as you get those roots through, it's going to show up even more because you've got like grey everywhere coming through. So this is perfect. Again, I literally don't have anything bad to say about it. Any negative points I've kind of said about the kind of slightly crispiness or the blonde one looking a bit ginger, I thought I would... Just be honest because, like I said, I did have a look online before I made this video and I did see some negative reviews. So I thought I would put that out there in the video so that I didn't want to promote something, say it was amazing, and then you went and had a look after this and then seen really negative reviews because then it looks like I'm lying. So I'm just telling you the reviews that I've seen that have been negative. Um, like I said, the dabbing thing, they just pressed it too hard. If you just brush it through, it's fine. Um, and the blonde one looks ginger, nothing I can do about that. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, bye.